In a sector brimming with technological advancements, Elon Musk has unveiled a groundbreaking innovation, Tesla's condensed super battery, boasting a mere 15-minute charging duration. This cutting-edge battery promises rapid charging, exceptional energy density, and driving ranges nearing 1,000 kilometers, setting a new standard far beyond existing benchmarks. The announcement's timing is striking, as Chinese powerhouses like Cattle and BYD lead the electric vehicle, EV, battery market with their scale and cost-effectiveness. Musk's response is not merely to rival them, but to redefine the industry. Let's explore this game-changer. Founded in 2003 by engineers Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening, and later reshaped by Elon Musk's vision, Tesla entered a skeptical automotive world. Electric vehicles were deemed impractical, hampered by slow performance, limited range, and costly batteries. The dominance of internal combustion engines and cautious reception of early hybrids like the Toyota Prius underscored the challenge. Yet, Tesla recognized that mainstream EV adoption hinged not on stylish designs but on overcoming battery constraints. From its inception, Tesla prioritized batteries, viewing them as the core of its vehicles, not mere components. The Roadster, Tesla's first production car, utilized the Lotus Elise chassis but incorporated over 6,800 lithium-ion 1865-0 cells, typically found in laptops. Sourced from Panasonic, these cells were ingeniously reconfigured by Tesla's engineers into a unique battery pack. This bold approach, unprecedented among major automakers, allowed Tesla to sidestep conventional suppliers, delivering a roadster with an impressive 200-mile, 320-kilometer range per charge, a first for EVs. Tesla's ambition didn't stop there. Strengthening its partnership with Panasonic, Tesla planned a groundbreaking venture, the Gigafactory in Sparks, Nevada, announced in 2014. By 2016, its initial phase made it the world's largest building by footprint. The goal was to manufacture battery packs internally, streamline supply chains, reduce costs per kilowatt hour, and scale production to meet global EV demand. This strategy succeeded. With the 2017 Model 3 launch, Tesla transitioned from 1865-0 to advanced 2170 cells, developed with Panasonic at the Gigafactory. These 21 mm by 70 mm cylindrical cells offered superior energy density, enhanced thermal management, and greater durability enabling longer-range vehicles at competitive prices, solidifying the Model 3's position as the global best-selling EV. The pinnacle of Tesla's battery innovation came on September 22, 2020, during Battery Day, where Musk and SVP Drew Baglino introduced the 4680 table as cell. Measuring 46 mm by 80 mm, this cell delivered five times the energy six times the power, and a 16% range increase over the 2170. Its tabless design reduced resistance, enabling faster charging and discharging while simplifying production. Tesla also unveiled structural battery packs, integrating 4,680 cells into the vehicle chassis for improved rigidity and reduced weight. Manufacturing advancements included a dry electrode coating process from the 2019 acquisition of Maxwell Technologies, eliminating wet solvents to lower costs and environmental impact. Since 2021, 4,680 cells have powered select Model Y and Cybertruck variants, produced initially at Tesla's Fremont Pilot Line and later at Giga Texas. This set the stage for Tesla's 2025 condensed battery, a culmination of two decades of research, thousands of patents, and manufacturing breakthroughs. Though details were closely guarded pre-launch, 
This battery shifts from lithium ion to a solid state adjacent chemistry with silicon nanowire anodes and high nickel cathodes, achieving over 450 watt hours per kilogram, compared to 250 for 2170 cells, resulting in extended range, faster charging, and reduced thermal risks. Tesla's condensed battery, unveiled in 2025, represents a leap in energy storage, redefining performance, efficiency, and safety for electric systems. Over 15 years of Tesla's vertically integrated battery research, from cell design to raw material processing, culminated in this innovation. Unlike conventional lithium-ion batteries, it packs more energy into a smaller space while enhancing durability, charging speed, and sustainability. Its energy density exceeds 450 watt-hours per kilogram, surpassing the 250 to 270 of 2,170 cells and 300 to 330 of 4,680 cells, enabling ranges over 800 kilometers, 500 miles, without increasing pack size or weight. This makes it suitable for EVS, drones, aircraft, and portable power systems. The battery's silicon nanowire anodes, replacing graphite, store up to 10 times more lithium per gram. However, silicon's 300% expansion during charging historically caused degradation. Tesla, leveraging Maxwell Technologies research and collaborations in Texas and California, developed nanostructured silicon to mitigate swelling, improving capacity and lifespan. A solid-state electrolyte, likely lithium phosphorus oxynitride, L-I-P-O-N, with proprietary stabilizers, replaces flammable liquid electrolytes, eliminating leakage, overheating, or explosion risks. This enhances safety and enables aerospace and military applications. The high nickel, low cobalt cathode, refined from 2,170 and 4,680 designs, pushes nickel to 88 to 90 percent, reducing reliance on costly, ethically fraught cobalt. This aligns with Tesla's supply chain goals, emphasizing North American and Australian nickel. The battery's versatility extends beyond EVs. In 2024, Tesla's energy division tested condensed battery modules in Megapack Systems at Moss Landing, California, yielding a 38% power increase and 25% lower thermal management costs compared to LFP-based packs. Musk hinted at applications in Tesla's Optimus robots and SpaceX's Starship. Supporting this, Tesla's Corpus Christi, Texas, refinery, operational since early 2024, supplies battery-grade lithium and nickel, reducing external dependency. Giga Nevada and Giga Texas scale production with dry electrode coating and thermal compression bonding, minimizing water use and simplifying assembly. The condensed battery marks a new era, with sub-15-minute full charges and lower fire risks, poised to accelerate EV, autonomous system, and energy grid adoption. The 2025 condensed battery unveiling signifies a pivotal moment for EVs and energy storage. Unlike incremental past improvements, it delivers substantial gains in energy density, safety, charge time, and longevity. Already transitioning to early production at Giga Nevada and Giga Texas, with full scaling expected by late 2025. Its implications are profound. Cars with 1,000-kilometer ranges, smartphones lasting five days, and off-grid communities powered by renewables. Silicon nanowire anodes, solid-state electrolytes, and high-nickel, low-cobalt cathodes achieve 450 watt-hours per kilogram, far surpassing 2,170, 270, and 4,680, 290 to 300 cells. Integrated into a Model S prototype and Powerwall X, it eliminates range anxiety. 
A mid-sized sedan with a 100 kilowatt hour pack achieves over 1,000 kilometers. Verified in April 2025 Fremont tests, double the average EV range. The pack is 17% lighter and 23% smaller than 4,680 counterparts, enhancing vehicle design and handling. For public transport, trucking, and aviation, it enables electric short-haul flights and cross-country freight. By reducing cobalt use, priced at $33,000 per metric ton, and emphasizing nickel, silicon, and aluminum, Tesla cuts material costs by over 20%. With automation and vertical integration, battery costs are projected at $55 to $60 per kilowatt hour by 2026, making EVs cost competitive with combustion vehicles without subsidies, broadening access globally. In collaboration with SpaceX and an aerospace partner, Tesla tested lightweight packs for drones and short-range flights at Edwards Air Force Base in early 2025, achieving two-hour flight times, double prior records. Despite its promise, the condensed battery faces significant challenges in engineering, geopolitics, economics, and trust. Manufacturing complexity is a primary obstacle. Silicon nanowires require semiconductor-like precision via chemical vapor deposition, costly and contamination-sensitive. Solid-state electrolytes demand uniform deposition to ensure safety, necessitating new equipment, retrained workers, and time. Scaling from prototypes to millions of cells at Giga Texas or Giga Berlin requires system-wide retooling. Material availability is another issue. While cobalt use is reduced, demand for high-purity lithium, silicon, and nickel has surged. Lithium prices, peaking at $70,000 per metric ton in 2022, stabilized at $20,000 in 2024, but remain volatile. Nickel, sourced from geopolitically sensitive regions like the Philippines and Russia, and battery-grade silicon, 99.9999% purity, face supply risks. Tesla's Corpus Christi refinery mitigates some dependency, but geopolitical strategy is critical. High R and D and scaling costs, estimated at billions, challenge economics. Prototypes cost over $130 per kilowatt hour, double the $60 target for mass market viability. Regulatory approvals, from NHTSA to FAA, are complex, with solid-state batteries requiring new safety certifications, potentially delaying applications by 18 to 36 months. Consumer adoption remains a hurdle. Despite Tesla's loyal base, EVs comprised only 8.6% of 2024 global vehicle sales with range, charging, and cost concerns persisting. The new battery's advanced terms like solid state may confuse buyers, requiring transparent data and third-party validation to build trust, especially given Tesla's past issues with fires and software bugs. In early 2025, the Tesla takedown movement emerged, targeting Musk's political influence via his role in Trump's Department of Government Efficiency, Doge, linked to federal job cuts. Spanning over 250 cities across the U.S., Canada, Europe, Australia, and New Zealand, this grassroots campaign urges Tesla boycotts, stock divestment, and vehicle sales. High-profile figures like Alex Winter and Joan Donovan amplify the cause, with events like Dance Against Dog flash mobs. While nonviolent, some European Tesla dealerships and superchargers faced vandalism, labeled extremist by French and German authorities. Tesla's Q1 2025 deliveries dropped 13% to 336,681 units from 388,000 in Q1 2024, with European market share falling from 1.3% to 0.7%. Stock declined 30 to 35 percent, erasing over $150 billion in valuation, 
Tensions escalated when Musk criticized Trump's budget bill, stripping EV tax credits and federal contract eligibility, prompting Trump to threaten SpaceX and Starlink contracts. Tesla shares fell 14% in a day, costing Musk $27 billion personally. Trump's trade war, with tariffs up to 145% on Chinese imports, hit Tesla's 40% reliance on Chinese battery components, halting Model S and X imports in China. Shanghai plant output dropped 22%, and Tesla fell to third in China's EV market behind BYD and NIO. A March 2025 recall of 46,000 Cybertrucks for trim and pedal issues further dented trust. Without allies in Washington or Beijing, Tesla faces subsidy losses, contract risks, and declining consumer confidence. In the first quarter of 2025, BYD delivered 416,388 electric vehicles, up 38.7%, surpassing Tesla's 336,681, down 13%. BYD's Blade battery, using LFP chemistry with 160 watt-hours per kilogram and 355 watt-hours per liter, prioritizes safety and cost over Tesla's 4,680 cells, 241 watt-hours per kilogram, 643 watt-hours per liter. BYD's prismatic design enhances space use and resists thermal runaway. In Europe, BYD outsold Tesla in April 2025, 7,231 Vizy. 7,165. Models like the Dolphin Surf, priced at 18,650 pounds, undercut Tesla's Model 3, 30,000 to 35,000. BYD's vertical integration, producing 70% of components, and Hattel's 